Hello everyone. Welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will talk about these three important terms which I will use, frequently use and I already use terms like output voltage swing. So here two new terms are rail to rail voltage swing and headroom voltage. So I have taken one example. According to that, I will explain these three terms. Yeah, in this example, I have to compare these two basic topologies of common source amplifier. In one, I have used the RD only. In second, I have used current source here. So the example is to compare the maximum output voltage swings of common source amplifier or common source stages with resistive and current source loads. So with this example or with this uh, output signal, I'll tell about what is the rail to rail voltage swing and what is the output voltage swing. And what is the headroom voltage? So, first of all, I will tell you about the rail to uh, rail to rail voltage swing. So here uh, we can see that the maximum voltage that is uh, yeah maximum source voltage that is used to drive this amplifier is VDD, and the minimum voltage here is zero volt. So this is the rail to rail voltage. So if I talk you about the limitation of voltage is it is nothing but a zero volt and it is a VDD. So this is basically the rail to rail voltage swing. So this VDD minus zero, this is the rail to rail voltage swing. Uh, here it is zero volt as a minimum voltage. In few examples or few cases, it may also be VSS. This VSS may be negative voltage. So if you talk about the rail to rail voltage swing, in that case, it will be like, yeah, if it is VDD and lower voltage or VSS, then a voltage swing is nothing but a VSS minus VDD. Oh, so VDD minus VSS. As VSS is negative term, so this voltage swing is more than this voltage swing. So this is the rail to rail voltage swing. Means what, uh, what is the maximum voltage or what is the minimum voltage applied in this particular amplifier topology? That's the DC voltage. So here the minimum voltage is your VSS and maximum voltage of VDD. So these are the rails of the power supply. Here the maximum power supply is your VDD. That is a, usually we use 1.8 volt or whatever we use. And VSS is the low voltage. That may be the negative value. Or some positive value lesser than VDD. So between these uh, voltage levels, it is called rail to rail voltage swings. And now if I come to the output voltage swing, then according to the various loads in different topology of common source amplifier, we have some uh, limited output there. Uh, for the first figure, we can see that the out maximum output that is your VDD means if there is a no current drop across this, uh, this amplifier, in that case, there is a no voltage drop across the RD. If there is a zero voltage drop across the RD, then the maximum value that uh, can be reached by the output is VDD only means V out, v out is equal to VDD minus ID ID as I is uh, very less or almost zero. So it is your VDD. So the VDD, VDD, the maximum value of output is VDD when your ID is zero. But the minimum value for uh, your output is V in minus VTH1. So we can see that this is the minimum voltage that is the overdrive voltage to keep this uh, transistor M1 in saturation. So we cannot uh, expect output uh, voltage less than this value. Okay, this is the overdrive voltage. Actually, this is the VGS minus VTH. As uh, gate voltage is uh, input voltage. So your VGS is V in only because source is at ground. And uh, VGS minus VTH is nothing but overdrive voltage. So this is your overdrive voltage equal to VGS minus VTH. For the first transition, is a 1. And here VGS is nothing but a input voltage only. So this is the minimum voltage that need to be applied at drain. This is the overdrive voltage. Or can say minimum voltage that is needed to be applied VD minimum. So this is the minimum drain voltage that we can expect at the drain of M1. Uh, so this drain voltage of M1 is nothing but a V out. So minimum amount of uh, output voltage is your V in minus VTH1. So this is the output voltage swing. But for the second figure, we can see that there is a active load or the current source is used here. So for this current source, I can see that the maximum uh, uh, value of output that can reach to keep this uh, current source in active region 
uh, that, that the maximum value is a VDD minus VGS2 minus VDS2. So this is the overdrive voltage. So this is your overdrive voltage. So the output maximum can reach the one overdrive less than a VDD. So and the minimum value of the output is decided by the M1 to keep it in saturation. So this is nothing but same that the previous figure. That is a V in minus VTH1. So for the second case, the uh, swing is less. Uh, we can see that here the maximum swing of output is only uh, one overdrive less than the VDD. And for the second, uh, and for the previous figure, it was VDD only. So here, uh, maximum output uh, voltage is reduced. And uh, so I can see for the second figure, the output swing is less. So this is the swing. This is the output voltage swing. What the maximum output and what the minimum output. Between this, this is the swing. So if I measure the swing, I can say VDD minus VGS2 minus VTH2 minus is the lower voltage value. And for this figure, this figure, the swing is more. So I can say the output voltage swing for figure one is more than the output voltage swing of the uh, second figure. Now the third term that is headroom voltage. So headroom voltage is defined as uh, how close your uh, output can swing to the uh, supply voltage. I, I have defined this headroom voltage as so this is the definition of headroom voltage. Okay. So the output headroom is how close to the power supply rails, the output. So how close your output is to the power supply uh, of an amplifier. So uh, this output is swinging. The output is swinging. It is like increasing from this particular value and reaching at the VDD for this first figure and reaching at this VDD minus this particular overdrive voltage of the second transistor, overdrive voltage of the second transistor. So yeah, VDD minus overdrive voltage of the second transistor. This is the maximum limit of the output. So this output can swing uh, very close to this VDD. And uh, how close? This is uh, nothing but a difference of one overdrive voltage here. But for the first figure, it is uh, swinging almost to the VDD. So there is a, it is a, uh, moving, uh, it is almost equal to the VDD. So now, uh, so now for the headroom, the definition of the headroom voltage is that if your amplifier is nothing but swinging uh, between rail to rail, then this headroom voltage is almost negligible. So uh, headroom is what? This is a maximum voltage is a VDD that is applied on this system of the amplifier and the output is also swinging between like you know, almost VDD to ground. Suppose it's at the ground here or VSS here or maybe VSS here. So this is the rail to rail swing of this amplifier. So I have defined it two amplifiers here on the rail to rail amplifier and second is a non rail to rail amplifier. So if our amplifier is designed such that it is giving the output maximum output to close to the VDD. Uh, then headroom is almost negligible. I can say headroom uh, voltage is almost zero because your output uh, uh, maximum output voltage uh, that can swing near to this uh, source of power supply voltage of VDD. But for the second figure here, your output can maximum swing uh, to this VDD minus overdrive voltage of second. So it is nothing but uh, one overdrive less than the uh, power supply voltage that is your VDD. So for this figure, the headroom voltage is more or the, for the first figure, the headroom voltage is less. Means if I talk about the headroom voltage of this particular figure, it will be VDD minus maximum value of your output. That is your V overdrive of 2. So VDD, VDD cancel means V overdrive of 2. So it is of order of few millivolts, few millivolts. So if your mm, amplifier is rail to rail amplifier means it is uh, its output is going very close to the power supply voltage, then also there is a possibility of few hundred of millivolts of this headroom. But for the non rail to rail amplifier, it may be the headroom may be the of few volts. So here, okay, uh, so I should say here it is of order of few volts because overdrive voltage is measured as few volts like I uh, uh, can say it is measured at like uh, around 0.3 to 0.5 volts. Uh, but if it is uh, very close to this uh, power supply voltage, means output maximum output is very close to the power supply voltage, even there is a possibility of few millivolts difference. Because uh, if the, from the first figure, uh, we have approximated this ID as zero. 
but if this id is close to the zero i can say if it is a few micro ohms of oh, sorry few, few micro amps then there is a small drop across this register due to which your v out is not exactly the vdd but it is close to the vdd how close to the vdd so the actual difference between the power supply and your v out is nothing but a few millivolts so in this case also there is a headroom of few millivolts headroom so i think it is clear now what is the headroom and what is the rail to rail voltage swing and what is the output voltage swing so rail to rail voltage swing is very clear that is a maximum power supply voltage and a minimum power supply voltage the swing between these two levels of the voltage and the output voltage swing is the actual voltage swing of the output between two levels and it is basically decided by the load what kind of load we use for the amplifier the output can swing between the levels according according to the loads and um, and third thing is your headroom voltage headroom voltage is just uh, nothing but a uh, thing how close your output voltage uh, uh, swinging to this a uh, power supply voltage so i think these three terms are clear if there is any problem you can uh, discuss the things so basic uh, basically i discuss these things because i am going to use these terms frequently uh, and uh, i think i discuss these thing uh, not discussed but i use these terms uh, previously in the previous videos uh, i frequently use this voltage swing so that's why i clear this thing here so i think this is enough for this video thank you